hello everyone today i want to show you uh, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 30 cubed plus 40 cubed plus 50 cubed is equals to x cubed and we solve this problem for all the values of x so uh, here calculator is not allowed in this problem it means that we need to show all of the working on this paper uh, and I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So uh, I hope so uh, this question has many solutions or many ways to find the value of x but I hope so uh, my method is the very easiest method and I hope so you like this method. Now here uh, first we rewrite this equation as in this form so here we have this is 30 we write this 30 as 10 multiplied 3 multiplied by 10 and it's whole cubed plus this is 40 we write it as 4 times of 10 and it's whole cubed plus this is 50 we write it as 5 times of 10 and it's whole cubed and this whole equation equals to x to the power of 8 and now here uh, we apply uh, the nice cubic law or exponent law we know that if you have a multiplied by b and its whole power is m then we uh, write it as a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m so according to this exponent law here we need uh, to apply the cube separately on both of these values on these three terms uh, on all of these cases uh, so that uh, here we have uh, we can write it as this is 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 10 cubed and plus in this case we have 4 cubed multiplied by 10 cubed and in this case we have 5 cubed multiplied by 10 cubed and this whole equation equals to x cubed. Here I can just uh, apply this cube separately on each of these values uh, and now you see here uh, each of these terms involve uh, 10 cubed so that we will take common 10 cubed on each of these values and we obtain here the remaining values are this is 3 cubed here we get 3 cubed plus here we get 4 cubed and here we get 5 cubed and this is equals to x cubed. And now here further in the next step uh, we need uh, more simplifications on here and now we need to uh, simplify the bracket terms and here you see that uh, 3 to the power of 3 means that here I can just uh, expand these three terms here so this 3 to the power of 3 means that we need to multiply 3 with 3 times and you see here 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 it means that 3 cubed equals to 27 and if we expand 4 cubed it is equals to 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 and you see here 4 times of 4 becomes 16 and 16 times of this 4 is equals to this is 4 6 are 24 we write 4 and carry 2 4 1s are 4 4 plus 2 becomes 6 it means that 4 cubed equals to 64 and now here we need to find the value of 5 cubed and 5 cubed is equals to 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 and here you have 5 5 is a 25 and now we need to multiply 25 by this 5 and you see here 5 5 is a 25 we write 5 and carry 2 5 2 is a 10 10 plus 2 becomes 12 so 5 cubed equals to 125. So now we can replace uh, these three uh, values on this equation here. So now we can uh, see below 3 cubed equals to 27 and 4 cubed equals to 64 and 5 cubed equals to 125 and this is equals to x cubed. And now here in the next step we need to sum up all of these three values and you, you see here we have here we add all of these three values here so this is our 10 cubed and now we add this is 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 7 uh, becomes here 16 we uh, write here 6 
and we carry 1 so this 2 plus 6 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 uh, we write 1 and carry 1 so we have only this one term so this is 1 plus 1 becomes here 2 so we have this is 216 and it is equals to uh, x cubed so now here we need to convert this 216 into the cubic form and uh, we uh, clearly know that the 216 is equals to 6 cubed and now we replace this value equals to 6 cubed so it will be written as 10 cubed multiplied by 6 cubed and this is equals to x cubed so here uh, we need to combine the cube of these two values and it will be written as here first we write our x cubed is equals to here we need to combine the cube of these two values and it will be written as 10 multiplied by 6 and its whole cubed so we get x cubed is equals to this is 10 times of 6 becomes here 60 and its whole cubed and now here uh, in order to uh, remove uh, this uh, uh, cube sign so here in order to remove this cube sign we need to take uh, the cube root on both of the sides so that when we take cube root it will be written as x cubed and its whole power is 1 over 3 and in the right hand side we have 60 cubed and its whole power is 1 over 3 so this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 <coughs> and we get here in the left hand side equals to x only and in the right hand side we have x equals to 60 so this is the uh, final value of x in this problem and i hope so you like this method uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos